Consumer advocate, tax expert, and educator Ed Slot is here to help you rescue your retirement by following his time-tested method of avoiding the five silent retirement killers. The Wall Street Journal called best-selling author Ed Slot the best source of IRA advice, and USA Today said it would be tough to find anyone who knows more about IRAs than CPA Slot. Here's Ed Slot. Hi, everyone. I'm Ed Slott, and this program is called Life Insurance for Life and Beyond. Well, first, why am I talking about life insurance? Because life insurance may be the most underused strategy to protect large retirement balances from being decimated at the highest levels of taxation. So before we begin, just so you know, I don't sell life insurance. So why should I care? I don't sell stocks, bonds, funds, insurance, or annuities. I'm a tax advisor, but it's all about the taxes. I also believe most people don't understand how life insurance works as an effective planning tool. I don't sell it, and I'm no expert in exactly how all the various life insurance contracts work. That's why there are life insurance professionals that you need to work with to fill in all the details. But I do know how life insurance can fix lots of money and retirement problems and even create wealth and tax-free wealth. I want you to know how powerful the end result is. I want to give you enough here so that you'll understand what life insurance tax planning can do for you and your family, both during your lifetime and after your death. So why don't most people take advantage of life insurance? Because every time you hear life insurance, some people just tune out. Well, you put it off. And most times you hear about life insurance, you're hearing about it from someone who sells it. So maybe you feel like you're being sold rather than being advised. Maybe you think, ah, they're just trying to sell me something. So you think, I'll avoid the meeting or avoid the discussion. And maybe you're right. Maybe you feel that you're just being sold. So you don't see a benefit to you. But I'm here to tell you, you could be wrong. So let me tell you why I believe life insurance is the missing piece in most people's retirement and estate plans. The tax exemption for life insurance is the single biggest benefit in the tax code. I put this brief guide together for you in the hope that you'll view it and see how tax planning with life insurance provides powerful benefits. And then you'll continue this conversation with your life insurance agent who can fill in all the details. So this is the basic strategy turning taxable money into tax-free money using the tax exemption for life insurance, moving your money from accounts that are forever taxed to accounts that are never taxed. The bottom line is that life insurance provides tax-free cash. Tax-free is always the best source of money, and it also solves lots of non-tax problems. Here are the five most common life insurance mistakes. Mistake number one, thinking that life insurance is a cost and not looking at it as an investment. If you put money in a bank account, that's an investment. This is the way you should look at life insurance. You want to put it in as an investment. And the bigger the number, the more you'll have. It's not a cost. It's your money. It's an investment. Item number two, trying to pay the lowest amount for life insurance. It sounds good, right? Do you want to pay $1,000 or $10,000 for the policy? With permanent life insurance, you might want to pay more. Like I said in item one, think of it like a bank account. You may want to maximize the amount you have available. So you may want to put more in. Mistake number three, not understanding the benefits. With life insurance, you have a tax-free payout after death. And generally, it's judgment-proof. Also with life insurance, you have lifetime access to cash value, tax-free, so it won't increase your income. It won't cause Social Security to be taxed, and you won't lose tax benefits because your income increase, like losing exemptions, deductions, and credits. Life insurance is exempt from estate tax if it's set up right. And with life insurance, you get a guarantee, removing stock market risk. The government has restrictions on how much you can invest, but you generally want to put in the maximum you can. Mistake number four, improper ownership. You shouldn't own it in your own name. It should be owned by somebody else or a trust. The life insurance premium should be paid by the beneficiaries or by the trustee of an irrevocable life insurance trust so that the life insurance 
proceeds will be estate tax free. Mistake number five, not knowing it's tax free. I don't even know if this is a mistake or a misconception. Can you believe it? Still, people don't know that life insurance is tax free. I get calls every now and then from a beneficiary. We did planning for their family and they'll call me up and say, Ed, I just got this check. What do I do with it? How much do I owe in taxes? I said, I told you a million times, it's tax free. The benefit is so good even when people get the check, they don't believe it. So let's review. Risk is a silent retirement killer. Life insurance can eliminate both stock market risk and tax risk. And it can be used during your life to create a tax-free retirement fund. Life insurance is not only income tax-free, but can be estate tax-free too. You can contribute almost unlimited sums to a permanent life insurance policy and have tax-free access to your cash value during your life without increasing your income. And don't forget about the most basic life insurance benefit. Life insurance protects families when there's an early death. Life insurance can provide the needed cash so that life can go on without having to make any severe changes due to lost income. Money for the family, tax-free money. I never met anyone who didn't wish they had more life insurance. I like to say that life insurance takes care of families without first going through the government. Life insurance is not only the single biggest benefit in the tax code, but it's also the most cost-effective way to protect a large IRA. As tax rates increase, life insurance becomes more valuable than ever before. Here are some of the frequent questions I get about life insurance. Ed, if the tax exemption for life insurance is so good, won't the government take it away? No. Why? It's a social reason. Why do you think our government encourages us to give money to charity? Because if you give money to charity, you get a tax deduction. Why is the tax code loaded with incentives to encourage us to give money to charity? Why does the government want us to give so much money to charities? Because they're broke, so they don't have to do it to remove the burden from them. It's the same thing with life insurance. Our government is broke. Our government wants us to take care of our families so they don't have to. They want us to take care of our families with our own money, partnered with private insurance company money so that the government doesn't have to. Next question I get, Ed, here's another question I love. Ed, how can life insurance companies do this? They'll lose a fortune. They're doing fine. The answer is it's in the numbers. The, the risk is spread over a large pool of people. Insurance companies are some of the most solid financial institutions. Next question I get, Ed, why doesn't everyone do this? You know what? I don't know. I also think that insurance is not sold properly, so you look at it as a cost rather than investment. Ed, which is better, saving in an IRA or an insurance policy? That's interesting. Life insurance wins hands down. Let's compare. Let's compare life insurance to a tax-deferred retirement plan like an IRA or a 401k. If you compare life insurance to tax-deferred plans, life insurance has several advantages. First, with life insurance, you have lifetime access to cash value, tax-free and penalty-free. With an IRA, withdrawals can be heavily taxed and penalties too. Also with an IRA, after you're 70 and a half, you're forced to withdraw and pay taxes whether you like it or not. Life insurance provides a tax-free death benefit, income tax-free, estate tax-free too if owned properly. And with life insurance, there's no risk of future tax rates increasing. I mean, they could increase, you just don't care. With life insurance, you don't get a tax deduction like you get with an IRA or 401k. But a tax deduction these days is a trap because you'll pay much more in taxes later. All right, the last question I always get, Come on, Ed, are you working for the life insurance companies? This is too good to be true. No, I told you that before. I'm here for you, telling you how to create and build tax-free wealth using the single biggest benefit in the tax code. I always say life insurance is the only legal way to print money. If you have a large IRA, you have a tax problem. It's tax deferred, a sitting duck just waiting to be taxed. Move your money from accounts that are forever taxed to accounts that are never taxed. And good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck.